Um, I just got home from Rasmus. Do you listen to them? I can't say I've ever heard yeah, of them. I have. Have you? Yeah. What are they? Just it's a like band, a, a rock band from like the 2000s, like mid 2000s. Um, if it's the one that I'm thinking of, anyway. Tell us a story where I find a question. Trick, since you're the <laughs> guest, you don't, you're not really on these lives too much. Tell us a story. I'm left-handed and right-handed. Is that called Andy, Dex- Andy Dexterous? What's your funniest live story from playing drums? Or anything that stands out? Uh, sometimes I stand on my kit. And then I got back down, and as I came back down, I kicked my snare over. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I had to pick it back up before the what? before the, the what chorus sh- started. What was that? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. It was one of the <laughs> Escape the Fate. Tour. Was it really? Yeah. That's so funny, dude. I, like I kicked it as I sat down, it, I caught it and then pulled it back up. Imagine yeah. if you just went straight through the snare. <laughs> 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 or if you just like ate, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> I fall forward. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How are you all? We're good. Good, good, good. good. Um, some similar questions, like when a date's show date's coming out. Uh, what time is it over there? It's 2.20 in the afternoon in Los Angeles. How are you guys? Good. Okay, cool. Um, down the bottom now. What's the craziest thing... What's the craziest thing that has happened to any of you? Um... Craziest thing. I almost died in a snowstorm. Probably. <laughs> um. Yeah, getting getting lost in a snowstorm was probably the craziest thing for me. Yeah, that sounds pretty crazy. That was pretty shit. Um, we were in I was in Colorado and we went basically like just like through the trees and stuff like that. My friend and myself and. Yeah, we eventually hit, like, snow that was, like, coming up to your waist. So to get, like, you know, from here to the door or whatever, that would take you, like, ten minutes to, like, pull, pull yourself out and then go over, then do the same thing, and the sun was going down. Um, and then we thought we were free. We thought we got out because we saw, like, a clearing. And then we started walking close, across this clearing. We saw it went back up, and that's when you go, fuck me. I'm dead. Yeah. yeah you go, like, I'm so, I'm, you're exhausted by that point. We were in there for, like, hours, I think. Um, and just like this thick ass forest, like you couldn't ski through it or anything, because like it was mm. too compact and it was too deep. Um, and then my friend was just like, "Yeah, Jordan, don't look down." So you obviously do. And then I see like this blue like glow. So oh. yeah, we were walking across a lake, <laughs> and I'm just like, "This is so fucked." And then Fuck eventually we got back up to that clearing and, and had to do. I still got actually like frostbite like type stuff on my face from that, um, and. Then, yeah, we, we we're going for about like another half an hour, an hour or so, and by this time it's like starting to get like dark, and we saw someone like coming through, like someone with like a jacket, uh, one of those high vis jackets on. He must like go like fucking idiots come through here all the time and get lost. Uh, and then we waved him down, and then then he took us like the right direction and got out, and it still took us like twenty minutes of straight skiing and snowboarding to get out after you've just been in going through that for I don't know two hours, three hours. So we're just absolutely exhausted, and we took out. We had rental boards, so we took them back, and the, we told the guy what happened. And he said, "Yeah, you're lucky. Um, the guy, the, the last person who got lost in that exact area, um, had to get both his legs amputated from hypoth- um, from frostbite or yeah. hypothermia, whatever it's called." Jeez, yeah. yeah. So lucky to make. First of all, lucky just to make it out, and lucky to make it out whole. So that was probably the craziest thing that's happened to me. I just, that's sort of a near-death experience in a way. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty crazy. Trip, uh, you would have. Oh, sorry. I'm trying man. to think. I was surfing once, and the shark alarm went off, and um, <laughs> woo, woo. I didn't know it went off. So everyone's on the shark. beach, and I'm still <laughs> still surfing with all these sharks behind me. How many? It was like two or three. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. There's something. Oh, there's that guy with the GoPro under his board or whatever, and his legs are just. You see, just like his legs dangling. And there's like a shark that. Yeah. It's like, man, you don't even know what's under there. Nick, that's fucking creepy. Um, I don't know. Not a lot of crazy shit, other than just South African 
weird crime shit. Just getting mugged shit. And, <laughs> getting mugged and, and Going shit, snorkeling. broken into. <laughs> Swam with the shark. That was pretty cool. Accidentally, or? I didn't, yeah, well, kind of. Right. Yeah, I was swimming. We went to a, an island called Lady Elliot Island um, in Australia, and yeah, there was just like a little um, reef shark that I swam with. I thought it was pretty dope. But yeah, not, not too many crazy stories other than what I've already pretty much said. Did any of you swim with sharks? Yeah, it's actually funny enough, that was the <laughs> yes. two stories that was, yeah. Um, oh my god, did you panic? I would have been crying the whole time. Um, to any of those stories? Um, maybe. Um, for me, no, but we, you definitely get to a point where like you just got the hyper exhaustion and then my friend was sort of just like, started to freak out a little bit and I had to just be like, no, like we're going to be fine. And then I started getting a little bit anxious when we hit the clearing and we thought we were out and then we weren't. I was just like, oh my God. That's when I started being like, this is, this is getting bad. Because you're just so tired. I just rem- I did have to leopard crawl around the house once to get to a panic button because there were people breaking in when I was like <laughs> I think like seven. That's so shit. I literally had to like leopard crawl on the ground like past all the windows because I woke up at night time and I looked out my window and there were just like two dudes there. Um, hmm. So I had a little Rambo moment. Favorite fruit or vegetable? A little Rambo moment. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Um, orange. Fruit or uh, right fruit. Um, fruit probably just apples. I like apples. And vegetable zucchini. I like oh, zucchini. you're joking! I fucking love. It. Actually, avocado and zucchini. Though. That's disgusting. You can do a lot with cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> cauliflower is a very multi-purpose vegetable. I was just like, I was gonna let it hang. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let breathe. Yeah, you can make rice with it. You can yeah. sort you of can fry it. You, you can make fry it. Shit. Yeah, yeah, man. You yeah. do a lot of cauliflower. Trick, have you ever tried to play What's On Your Arm? Yeah, it's one of our songs. Which song is it? Forget the Come Down. How's it go? Do do do. Do 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 do. Is that the drums goes? When did you begin to play music? I started about 13 playing guitar. I was 10. I think I was third, 13 or 14. Hey, you like California so far? I really like it. Um, I, I like that people go out and do... There's always something to do. Um, and people are just out. In Back in Australia, people don't really go out unless it's like a Friday or Saturday night. Um, but here there's always just like events or things, festivals. Mm. Um I don't know, just shit happening down in Venice or Santa Monica or, I don't know, just around the place. Oh, and seeing, like, I don't know, we, we've been to a couple um, comedy shows, seeing a couple of comedians that we really like, and we just wouldn't really get that stuff back home. Yeah, that, that's it, been really nice, actually. Mm, stuff that, like, you don't really get that much back in Australia, and here it happens on, like, a Tuesday night, and it's just, like, sold out. I don't know, it's re- that, that's really cool. 